Hello and welcome to this Train Sim TV video. Here we are at Darwin's and on the brand new DP Simulation North East England route, which will be coming out very soon. And we're going to take a trip on this Class 68 using the Armstrong Powerhouse and Nam's Antimate Pack. We're going to take a trip to Hartlepool on a heavily loaded ballast train. This is a scenario that I've just made today using this locomotive. We are just sat waiting at Darlington for the road at the moment. I'm going to follow the unit to Middlesbrough. We will follow that as far as Eagles Cliff. The scenario is based in 2018. So before we get started, there's something I need to clear up about the uh, Class 68 Enhancement Pack video that I did the other day. Uh, and that was about the works plate. The works plate was not meant to be on the model, it is not a part of the Armstrong Powerhouse pack, uh, my apologies to AP for that. It is not a part of the pack and it's correct that it shouldn't be there so I thought I needed to clear that up. Happily I did re-download the pack and I got the Vassalor logo back on the front now which is good. Uh, not sure why I didn't have it before but I've got it now after re-downloading the 68 pack so I would uh, recommend that you re-download your 68 enhancement pack again and you also re-download your... Um, Branding patch as well. So our loco is 68023 Achilles. Looking rather nice in this lovely light here at Darlington. So, as you can see on the map, we're heading from here at Darlington and we're going to follow the line through Teesside Airport, which famously only gets a few trains a week and is one of the least used stations in Britain. We'll be heading through to Eagles Cliff and then on up to Hartlepool where this scenario will end. It's a journey of about 25 miles. In a future version of the route, Middlesbrough will be added just here on the right. Uh, unfortunately, Darwin hasn't enough time to do it yet. But, as well as that, you also get an awesome recreation, rebuild of this East Coast Main Line. Completely original, it's not a, re like, um, it's not a revamp or anything, it's a completely original route. All the way from Darlington down to York. Uh, I know that Darren is planning to take this up to Newcastle at some stage. He's also planning to do the Durham coastline up from Hartlepool to Sunderland and Newcastle. So yeah, you get the line down to York via North Allerton. You also get the North Allerton to Eagles Cliff, Middlesbrough a bit. But Middlesbrough, as I said, is not on this version of the route yet. But from what I've seen, this is my only my, my first proper drive on the route. From what I've seen of it, it really is a, a stunning creation. So we are just waiting for this unit to go now towards Stoltburn, which it should do in a minute. That's it is doing now. Class 142 on a service to Saltburn, which started here at Darlington. It's coming out of the bay platform. I will follow this up to Eagles Cliff, where it'll branch off towards Middlesbrough. One thing to make clear with this route is the way that Darren has built it. He has built it as a cab experience. And the detail, certainly up close to the track, is absolutely stunning. It really does have exactly the sort of detail you'd want. It's right up there with the very best, in my opinion. And as long as you're not flying in helicopter view all the way, you won't notice the fact that the scenery is only close to the track. And the massive advantage of doing it this way is that it improves the, improves the frame rates significantly. I mean, I'm only getting 24 frames a second, but that's because I've got all these wagons behind me, because I'm going to try and make the 68 work a bit on this train. So I should get the signal in a moment. Let's get the cab set up. I love that bit. Right, so we're all ready to go. Locals ready. Release the brakes. 
Helps if I remember to turn the DRA off, obviously. So here we go. load on here, I think we've got about 2,500 tonnes. It's just a fictional, fictional scenario that I've created, this is not based on anything that's going to be real life. Purely fictional. So there we are, we're leaving the East Coast Main Line. Heading on the Main Line towards um, Eagles Cliff and eventually towards Hartlepool. Got to have a clock fact on ten. I think I've gone a bit overboard with this train. It is quite long. When I come to release the scenario I might actually take a bit off. some of the small features that Darren's put into this. Stuff like this fence here. The attention to detail to actually, I think that's a custom asset that is made specifically for this piece of banking here. And you could have just used a normal pipe fence in my opinion and it would have been a perfect like acceptable but that is true dedication to go for that length. And again, and what all of this does is it makes the track size look particularly accurate. I think it really helps to make a 
good experience. The other thing about this route is the detail that Darren's actually put into all the gardens and everything at the side of the track. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you look here, there's no unnecessary detail. I mean, strictly speaking, you don't really need to be doing this bit anyway because you don't see it from the cab because the lines in the cutting. But look at this. I just love the attention to detail with the foliage and the the loose ties and stuff. And the milepost is that custom, or is it a... Either way, it's a, the correct sort of milepost, I believe that. That's just cool. There's a 30 mile an hour limit coming up. Indeed there is. Looks like the unit's well out of sight. Base on notch three. That is beast. approach to Dinsdale station which is the first station that we're going to go through. We have to shut off in a second because of the 30 limit.
Also stopp, komm in die Ruhe. Two D fifty one Saltburn to Bishop Parkland. So obviously when the second version of this route comes out, or the advanced version when it gets found to doing it, you'll be able to drive through from Middlesbrough to Darlington. This first version of the route you won't be able to go to Middlesbrough unfortunately. But there is more than enough to do already I think on this route. You've got all the section from Darlington to York and then you've got this bit from Darlington to Eagles Cliff, you've also got North Hamilton to Eagles Cliff, then you've got the 15 or so miles up to Hartlepool as well. I love the detail, I like that crossing there that we're just going over. I know from doing these sorts of things myself it takes a lot of dedication to put all this stuff in. Because you could quite easily just leave it and nobody would really notice, but I think it gives you that extra immersion factor. So you can sort of see it there again with another one. And it's those small details that really do make a route. They turn a good route from a good route into a great route. I like as well the foliage on the, on the sides, it sort of comes in goes away from the track um, as it does in real life it's not just one straight line as you're looking along it's sort of arid and you can see the different heights and stuff like that and then there's the junction boxes as well and the uh, other bits of clutter that are being placed correctly so this is the famous Teesside airport station I believe where it only gets a couple of trains a week and we've actually got the correct style platforms there as well the uh, wooden I call them still platforms Another lovely custom assets actually. Safe to say that a lot of work has gone into these customs. Got the shelter. Certainly, these fences in the back of the platform here, the actual platforms themselves, the signage. In fact, the whole station looks like it's probably a custom asset, which is uh, certainly impressive. And lampposts as well, I think. So much dedication just to get such a small station, right? Remember, this is all for free as well. It's not. We're not paying for this. This is a free route. You know, Darren's put all this time into this just to give us it for free, it's not being paid for. Fantastic. Two and a half miles now to Eagles Cliff. Gonna be the next point that we pass. Still another 15 miles to our destination, which is Cliff House Good Loop, just outside um, Hartlepool. Lovely detail here. With the crossing in the box.
Some nice semaphore signal in here. Didn't know there was any semaphores left on this route. Ignore the stuttering, that's my computer, not the route. I'm well overdue a new uh, install, really, to fix that. So we're now approaching, this is Allen's West Station, also not far from Eagles Cliff. So this is now the approach down to um, Eagles Cliff, which is where we joined the line from North Allerton and York, this is where the Transpennine services go. So on this sort of short section here we'll be on the same line as the, the trains that go to Middlesbrough and stuff like that. Really sharp curve and all that going into uh, Eagles Cliff. Again, fantastic detail here at the station. The, the varied sort of foliage on this side, and then the station itself obviously is looking really nice. I think that's a custom, obviously, the uh, the bridge here and everything's custom. The signs that's all had to be made specially for the route. Serious work, curious footbridge is that. Really unusual. So nice to have a finally have a decent route up in the northeast as well. I think this is sort of the first one we've had up this way since the good old days of Newcastle to York back in 2007. Or whatever it was. Kuju days. We've had bits that Darren's done in the past, but not really anything out of this world. In terms of uh, distance and everything. I mean, Darren himself has always done fantastic routes. That's why I'm so excited to see this one get released because I know how much work is put into it. Oh, I've put the dynamic brakes on there, didn't mean to do that. So we're getting a double yellow here. This is because we're meant to be following a uh, unit from here up to uh, Hartlepool, another unit. Which is that one there, the uh, 2W59 Nunthorpe to Metro Centre. following this unit all the way. Although with the amount of weight we've got behind us it should get out of our way pretty quick I think. So this is where the junction for the line to Middlesbrough goes off to the right. turn around here you go to Middlesbrough and Saltburn and Whitby and places like that. Farnaby as well obviously, Tees Yard. Turn around here for those. So 
nice banking detail as well here. As I said, if you look out at the cab, you can uh, see the edge of the scenery, but I don't think that's a problem when you've got such awesome detail up close. Oh, got a yellow. I don't know how far it's going to be to the next signal. So this is where there's a, a triangle, so you can come out of Middlesbrough, you can go north up the Doom Coast, you go south towards York. Transpennine services come out of Middlesbrough and they go south towards, that way towards York and North Allerton. Uh, this is the route that the Grand Central stuff takes. And coming up on the left in a minute is Stockton Scrapyard, which has been added in. Uh, I think in real life that's been disconnected now, uh, but that's where the Stockton Scrap used to run from with the 37s to Sheerness. It also, it also did run to Cardiff as well. I love Notch 3. Notch 3 is beast. Again, you can see the detail that Devon's put onto those streets. Impressive. And that's on both sides of the track. And this is the uh, Stockton scrapyard. Sidings on the left. So once again you can really see the detail that's gone onto this. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. So you will be able to run the scrap trains from here. We'll need the APRJT37 to make a really decent job of it. Assuming one of those packs includes a 37.5. I'm sure one of them will. Of course it did run, I think it ran with 57s and it's also run with 66s on occasions, but that's the a good freight opportunity on this route. Look at the detail though, it's just stunning. And these sleeper fences are probably a custom asset looking at it. And this is now the approach to um, Stockton Station. go through a notch free just for the pure hellfireness of it. it. Sounds like a warship in notch free. Good loop behind the wall there as well. Oh, we've got green. Again fantastic detail on this station. Excellent.
So we've got another nine miles to go till uh, till we reach Cliff House Goods Loop. I'm loving the detail on this road bridge here as well. That must have been quite tough to put in. That may even be a custom in itself, I'm not sure. This shows how simple view building can look so effective in my opinion. Because I mean to do what has been done here isn't exactly, I don't think it's massively difficult. It's, it's difficult to get the skills and the knowledge to know how to do it. And it's extremely skillful but actually carrying it out once you're experienced at building it isn't that hard in the respect of actually doing it. It's just a really unique method that Darren has. Um, a sort of simple but really effective technique and it, it looks stunning it runs really well I'm at 40 frames per second with about 30 of these you know quite resource heavy wagons behind me I've got the 68 on the front as well and I'm following a 142 which is also quite resource heavy and it's just uh, the amount of detail that's up close to the track it's, it's, a lot, it's not affecting the FPS or anything at all because of the Simple, simple scenery away from the track, and I think that's the right way to do it, in my opinion. At the end of the day, it is a train simulator. Whilst you are simulating the outside world, you shouldn't really be simulating stuff that's three or four miles away from the track. That is absolutely perfect for me, in my opinion. It's, it's what you should get. Service going the other way. To end 46 Hexham to, uh, to um, Nunfort. We're about to turn right here and I'm going way too fast. Oh, semaphores. Completely wasn't paying attention then. nice. Completely forgot there was any semaphores left around this part.
Peak. So we've got about seven miles left to go now. Should be a pretty straightforward run, I think. Love the detail here with the, uh, the sort of really unique line in in this of, in this of respect. It's uh, just nice to drive along. It's just sort of refreshing. Very refreshing actually to drive this. The motorway. Away, but dual carriageway. Nice high embankment here, the one. Looks like there's another signal box on this corner here. That another custom footbridge, perhaps? Looks like it. I'm not actually sure what line that is. It's not an area I've ever done much in real life around here. I've been around here quite a few times, but not nearly as much as I've been to a lot of other places. My knowledge is a bit sketchy, especially once you get on this bit north of uh, Middlesbrough. Looks like there's an amateur football team there or something. It's quite cool. Where you start getting into a bit of an industrial sort of area as you, as you get up towards uh, Hartlepool. Another station. That one was Billingham. It's going to take us from doing to get this train up to speed. under five miles to go now. Mm. Got a small crossing. And again, look at the detail there on the uh, house and stuff, the garden. All full of detail. straight this. But unlike some routes you don't get bored as you're going along because there's so much to look at, like these power lines and how the foliage is um, 
what I call dynamic, it sort of changes. And there's lakes and stuff. And if I was going to say, I'm going to say to somebody that's new to route building, how would you build a route? I would probably recommend going and looking at something like this because of how it's done. But you've got all the detail up close, but not everything. There's nothing going over the top over there that you don't need. But there's just enough. It really does hit the balance perfectly. station here by the locks. A signal box. Don't know what station this used to be. This is the Hartlepool BSC sidings. Uh, this is, um, I think it's Hartlepool Pipe Mill. I think. You've also got the seat in uh, British, Ener British Energy Place here, which is where the nuclear fast goes. But uh, yeah, that's the pipe mill in there, I believe, which is where the um, pipe train to Jarlsbury Junction goes from, I'm guessing. But there's also been other trains over the years gone to Hartlepool steel trains and stuff. It's good uh, scope for freight operation. Some great detailing going on in here as well. Just like everyone else as we've seen. Nice. So we're now on the last approach towards Cliff House, which is where we'll stop. When we do stop, we'll take a quick look at uh, Artlepool, so you can see what's going on there. Because it is uh, another nice area where Darren's been doing work. And that's the seating energy branch there, where the nuclear flask drain goes. Before we get to where we're terminating, we pass through sh the seat and crew station. This is uh, seat and crew they're going through. Pretty simple station. Nonetheless, it looks great again. Let's do all the stations on this route. That's cool. That one's actually put the extra sort of walkway down the side of the bridge, and then the central column, and then this this side as well. That's something you don't see on many routes. It just shows the attention to detail that he's gone for once again. So is this as this is where we're going to terminate? 
I'll take a little fly along up to um, Harlepool. This is just the just the sort of final approach just that we're on here. We need to come out of the game and go into the editor to do this. But yeah, once again you can really see the effort that Damon's made, it's just uh, superb. Check rail curves, but as you come into Hartlepool. And you've got the correct arrangement here with the bay platform and this uh, main platform and then the shoes platform. Great stuff. So, as a sneak preview of the uh, upcoming North East England route. Be released soon by Darren Porter at DP Simulation. Don't forget to check us out on Twitch at TrainSimTV underscore Tom and TrainSimTV underscore Mark. We do regular live streams on there. Tom is the one that's more likely to be live. Also remember to check us out on Facebook at TrainSimTV. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.